morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rashmi Gupta. I'm, I'm the president of the Mahatma Gandhi Peace Council of Ottawa. I welcome you to this very special lecture by Jill Carr Harris, Turning the Tide on Nonviolence in Education, Building Capacities for Nonviolent Leadership. A very, very warm welcome to our guest speaker, Jill Carr Harris. Jill is an activist, educator, leader, and is currently finishing her thesis work in Toronto. I'm really astonished by Jill's enthusiasm and dedication. She's an ongoing inspiration for so many people around the globe, I would say. Thank you, Jill, for accepting this invitation. Mahatma Gandhi Peace Council was founded in the year 2006, and since then has been active in promoting Gandhian thoughts and principles through lectures, panel discussions, art and cultural events, and seva activities. The Peace Council is thankful to the Carlton University and the High Commission of India for their help and support in installing Gandhi's statue in the Carlton University campus. The Peace Council, in partnership with the Carlton University, has endowed the annual M.K. Gandhi Lecture in the College of the Humanities at Carlton University. The annual lecture event is once a year during the Peace Week and as a part of the celebration of Gandhi's birthday on October 2nd. The Council has also organized other such events during the year. A, rec a record of MGPC's activities over the years exists on its website, gandhiji.ca. So now, uh, just to, uh, before we go to the, our program, uh, I will first uh, just uh, go through uh, uh, the protocols of the Zoom meetings. Uh, of course, thanks to Zoom that um, today we have uh, guests from India from uh, and all over Canada, which is just wonderful. Uh, the thing is that everybody will be muted during, the, uh, during this event. And I request that if you have any question, kindly put your question, type your question on the chat to the host and not to the public. And uh, Dr. Homer is our host, he's, the, he's hosting the event and uh, he will be uh, then later on at the end of the talk, he will forward all those questions to the speaker, um, uh, Jill Carr Harris. And uh, so please uh, just remember that. And I request that uh, people who have to speak, they have to really unmute themselves. They are co-hosts and they can unmute themselves whenever they are, uh, you know, when their uh, turn comes to, to speak. With that, with that, now I will request Krishna Praharaj to recite Gandhi's favorite time, Vaishnav Janto Tenehi Kahiye, in her beautiful voice. Krishna has been trained since very early age in Hindustani classical music by Dr. Vinay Bhide, who is also a junk professor of musicology at the Carlton University in Ottawa. Krishna's mother, Bratiti Kar, is a very good singer, I must mention here. This beautiful poem, Vaishnav Janto, was written in the 15th century by Narsimha Mehta, a great poet of Gujarat in India. The bhajan speaks about the life, ideals, and mentality of a person who is a true follower of God. The seven key lessons that stand out in its simple lyrics are empathy, humility, to respect others, stability and purity of mind, truth and morality, detachment, to stay away from the evil. So with this, uh, I would invite Trishna, please unmute yourself, Trishna, and uh, go with that. Thank you. 